kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part fourteen of my video series on uh, audio video calling app using Firebase in Android Studio. Alright, guys. So in our previous part, since we were having difficulty in uh, integrating the Cinch uh, library, so guys, in this video, we are first of all, I want to tell you that you only have to uh, rebuild your project and then you will be able to access the classes of the cinch library so i did not change anything and here if you can see we have let me open the build.gradle file here so there you can see we have this repositories as flat directory and inside this we have a folder dirs and inside that we are pointing it towards our libs folder and here make sure that you include these two uh, lines of code here okay when we did not do any change any further changes so after this you will be able to access your cinch library so here we can have a cinch client and we say it like client all right and here inside our init uh, initialize sync since we are going to initialize our cinch uh, cinch uh, sdk so for that we can say like client equal to cinch dot get cinch client builder and then here we have to provide the context there we are providing this activity context then we have the application key then we have the secret key application secret then we have to include the environment host we have as host and then we can simply build it so here for the application key and the application secret we are going to access our uh, cinch library and from there we will be able to paste them and after this we are going to use uh, we have to uh, set it make it support the voice and audio calling app uh, audio and video calling app so here we can say cinch dot set spot calling and make sure that you mark it as true then we have the client dot start listening on active connections all right and then we have the client and then we can say dot start listening on since we already have the start listening on active uh, connection then we have to add the client uh, cinch client listener so for this we can say client dot add cinch client listener and here we have to provide our own uh, interface or our own class for this uh, listener so we can say new my cinch client listener okay so we have to create this class now so here uh, I press alt and enter and there we can create the class okay okay so, so this is not the way of uh, initializing or this we have to add it in our class so we just have to delete it and then here we can add it like here so here we can say private class my cinch client listener and we have to use the cinch client listener as the interface so here we can say cinch client listener and here we have to override override some methods so we click on implement method and these are the five the method that we use for our for our listener okay so here we only have to use the on client field so we have to terminate the cinch and also when the client is stopped so here inside our own client field we can simply say cinch client dot terminate so in this way we have to terminate our cinch client
so we go back to here we have added the cinch client listener in order to initialize the cinch client and then we are going to use the set dispatch native calls so here we can say client dot get client get call client dot set respect native calls and make sure that you mark it as false then we have to now add the add, add the call client listener okay so for the call client listener we are going to use cinch client dot get call client dot add call client listener here we have new cinch call client new cinch call client listener okay so now here we also have to um, we also have to create a new class for this so here we can say private void cinch call client listener and here we have to implement sorry guys we have to oh sorry guys sir. Oh sorry guys we have to use the class here private class since call client listener and we implement it with call client listener all right so in this way now we also have to override some methods here we have the own own incoming call so whenever the call will arrive this method will be called and we have to open the respective activity all right so we will do that later after we successfully uh, integrate our cinch library all right guys and here after we edit the add call client listener we now have to start it so for to start it we can say client dot start okay so now the client has been started and also we have to add the cinch client so inside our uh, utils class so we have to create the utils here so let me create a new package name and make sure you like uh, write utils and inside this utils class we are going to use the class name uh, let's say it to be utils okay so inside this utils we are going to use some of the static methods so first of all we are going to use public static call here and we have the public static call client then we are going to have public static cinch client okay so now we have these three and then we go to our home screen activity and from there we are going to use the utils dot cinch client and it will be cinch client okay so we are just marking it so that well, so that whenever we need this cinch client we can easily access this and after we are done with it then we have to uh, eliminate it so for this we have to mark it we have to make it uh, null so for this we can just copy it and inside our uh, here after it is filled then we can say utils dot cinch client equal to null and that's it all right guys so let me give you a recap of uh, of what we have done so far so here we have just integrated our cinch library then we added all these things and we added the set spot calling then start listening on active connection then we have add cinch client listener we added some of the some of the listeners and that's how we are going we have integrated the cinch library so guys if you like the video 
please like share and subscribe to my channel and also make sure that the your sync library is successfully integrated if it is not in the not integrated you so you can comment down below and i will help you guys so guys have a good day and good